Hey guys, welcome back to Foam Dude. In this video, we are going to see the basic construction of a multi region case and how to set up a multi region case. This video is a continuation of the two previous videos, which covered toposet and split mesh respectively. So let's, let's get to it. So we saw for, for a simple case, for a single region case, you have a zero constant and system directories. The difference, the moment you start getting into multi-region cases, the difference that you see is there are more subdirectories in each of the three main uh, main directories that are essential to open foam. So we saw in the previous video that we had two regions, heater and water, which form a sandwich-like structure. So for each of the two regions, we are going to have two separate directories for water and heater respectively. Right now they don't exist in the zero so that means we haven't set up the boundary conditions yet. In the constant directory you have two regions heater and water respectively and there is a file called region properties. Region properties file is absolutely necessary for the simulation. This is where you tell the solver which region is what and whether it's a fluid or a solid. Depending on the definition, whether it's fluid or solid, it will look for uh, specific properties such as, let's say, it will look for turbulence in fluid, uh, so on and so forth. So make sure you have this uh, region properties file defined properly. Let's say you have more than one solid regions. You will simply add their names separated by spaces. So we'll have he he whatever heater, header to, or whatever, like whatever names that you want to assign. Similarly for water, you may have water, air, uh, you may have something like jelly and whatnot. Alright, so we know for this simulation we only have two regions, water and heater. Similarly, in system directory, you will have water and heater. Make sure you have copied FV schemes and FV solutions, uh, these two files. Uh, specifically in this in this region. There are two additional files. One is called change dictionary dict and another is called FV options. FV options is a way of specifying heat generation in your in your uh, simulation. So for now I've set the uh, heat generation to to 10 and uh, I've, I've set the source as active. You can choose to turn it off. So you can simply set this to zero and you can save this. So this assumes that there is no heat generation. Uh, similarly, let's look at the change dictionary dict file. So we know that to set boundary conditions you have to go and edit the files individually. So if you have in zero in, in, in zero uh, directory you have let's say temperature, pressure, PR, GH, so you have to open let's say five six different files and edit the fields manually. Uh, there is a way to do it in a more organized fashion and that is achieved through this uh, change dictionary dict where you can specify all fields in a single file and simply run change dictionary function to utilize this uh, dictionary matching where openfoam matches dictionary entries for respective fields and boundaries to assign the boundary conditions that you define here. It's a very efficient way of setting boundary conditions for multiple regions where you are dealing with let's say a number of boundaries with a really complicated case setups and and like a really complicated simulation overall. Similarly in water you have a change dictionary file for water and for water you have to define velocity, temperature, you will define P and PRGH. If you have turbulence in your simulation then you will also have turbulence fields which I have commented uh, for now. So for the boundary conditions uh, for for the for the simulation i'm setting a velocity of 0 0.001 in positive x direction that starts with min x boundary which is the leftmost boundary and then you have an inlet outlet boundary condition on the rightmost boundary for the temperature boundary condition the top and bottom surfaces of the heater are set at 300 the inlet is specified as fixed value 300 uh, and the outlet is specified as inlet and outlet, which means it will calculate the outlet temperature. And I beg your partner, the pardon, the top and bottom surfaces are specified as zero gradient. That means uh, there is no heat transfer across those boundaries. The coupled boundaries are specified by this 
by, by this uh, special patch which is derived out of the coupled uh, patch in OpenFoam and it's called turbulent temperature coupled baffled mix. In this you have to specify kappa method. A kappa method for fluid region is going to be fluid thermo and that for a solid region is going to be solid thermo. Uh, this, this way it solves for energy balance across the patches and it takes into account respective thermal conductivities of each regions specified by kappa method. So this is a really nice way of defining boundaries where you can specify all the boundary conditions in one go. Make sure you have the right FE schemes and FE solutions for the respective regions. If you're not sure which FE schemes and FE solutions to use, I would highly recommend that you start with the tutorial cases. Go for CHT multi-region foam or CHT multi-region simple foam if you want to solve a steady state simulation grab FE schemes and FE solutions from the appropriate region, whether it's fluid or solid, and put them in, in your respective regions. Uh, none of the other things have changed from the previous split mesh tutorial, so I won't go in details of the rest of the things. Let's go back to constant. In the constant directory, under respective regions, you have to assign properties. So this is where you will specify the thermophysical properties. Here I'm specifying the kappa of 80, thermal conductivity of 80, and you have to specify radiation properties. And in this simulation, I'm going to assume that I'm not going to solve for radiation. So you can define the switch in the fluid region. So in fluid region, you have definition of gravity, radiation properties, where you have if you have specified radiation is off. Even if you specify radiation on in solid, it doesn't really matter because the actual solution to uh, radiation, the equations are solved in fluid regions only. And you have to specify thermophysical properties. Here in this case, I'm specifying thermophysical properties of water. And in turbulence, I'm going to assume, or rather for that matter, I know the flow is going to be laminar. You can specify simulation type as uh, RAS, and then you can define the turbulence model in the same file. So I won't go into details of all the specific boundary conditions. Feel free to review the boundary conditions once the simulation is completed, or you can, you can specify your own boundary conditions by going into the uh, system slash region slash change dictionary dict. Let's look at the simulation steps. So I've already described how to write your own all run and all clean scripts. Here I'm only going to show you how to, how to execute the steps. So uh, I'm going to apologize in simulation. So I'm going to start by running block mesh then I'm going to run toposit, then I'm going to split the mesh in the respective regions, then I'm going to set the boundary conditions, and then I'm simply going to start running the solver. Since this is a test simulation, I'm not much worried about the mesh quality, and I'm not even bothered to check the quality of the results. Uh, this is an unsteady simulation, that's why you will see CHT multi-region foam. If you want to run a steady state simulation, just make sure you have the right FE schemes and FE solutions in the in the respective regions and change the solver name to CHT multi-region simple foam. Uh, you don't have to change anything else other than the FE schemes and FE solution files to change the solver from unsteady state to steady state. And bear in mind this tutorial is built for version OpenFoam 5.0. So let me just put a note here. This way, when you uh, download the case, it will uh, make it clear to you that it's developed only for version 5.0. As of today, there is an improved, better solver that combines CHT multi-region simple form and CHT multi-region form together in the dev stream. I will cover that separately in another video later. So given that, I'm going to go here and directly run all run script you will see it's running block mesh deposit 
split mesh and immediately thereafter it has created all the time directories. The end time is specified as 100 so you can see the simulation stops at 100. So we are going to see the results real quick. Uh, like I said, the results, let's use the uh, built-in reader module. The results don't mean anything, it's just for uh, demonstration purposes. All right, so I'm going to change the view to cell velocity. And if I hit play button, you will see some change in the velocity field. Similarly, if I change to temperature field, cell values of temperature, you can see temperature increasing as is as it goes upwards. If you solve it for more uh, time iterations, you will see a nice temperature uh, profile building inwards and possibly extending into the top heater region. Uh, feel free to refine the mesh even further and uh, play around, change the velocity, see what happens. And in the next video, we will uh, we will start looking into the turbulence model and more details about multi-region simulations and uh, how to how to simulate advanced cases. That's it for now, and I will see you in the next one.